Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. On today's video, I will be showing how to plot an XRD graph and then do a baseline correction. So this is the original graph in which it is not baseline corrected or this is the raw data that is received and this is the baseline corrected data. So now I will start from the scratch and tell you how to change such a data into this. So before that, why do we need to do a baseline correction? So what is the benefit of baseline correction? One is that you would know you, it is it is very easy to interrupt your data. So it is very easy to understand your data. Suppose if someone looks at this graph, they may say that you do not have a proper peaks or the material is not formed. But when you do a proper baseline correction, it transformed into such a data that now the peaks are clearly visible and so that you can the peaks can be corresponded into its uh, two theta values. So now you can do a proper analysis of this XRD. So this is the main reason in for which it has to be done. And why baseline correction is not usually done is because sometimes it may be due to the instrumental error or the data is generated without doing the baseline correction or your material is amorphous in nature. So when the crystallinity lacks in your material, it may also lead to a broader baseline. So, but anyhow, the baseline has to be linear, which is which is should be near to zero. So now I'll go from scratch of how to start this, how to how to make this such a graph into such a into such a clean graph. So I'll delete all these. So I'm going to start from scratch. I'll open a new book, go to file, import single ASCII and then this is test one. So I'll put a test one. This is my test data in which I'm going to see, show you how to do a baseline correction. So I've selected this line and then this is how it looks. You could see that there is, there is no proper peaks and there is a dip here, there is a peak here. And it is the first thing we have to do with the first step we have to do is is to do a smoothening. So I've opened this, go to analysis, signal processing, smooth open dialog box. So this is auto preview. I give so when I give five points, this is the smooth line. So let me give 10 points and click here. So if you do not give auto preview, this will not change it automatically. So we have to select auto preview and then change 15 CDGs are not little clear. I want this to be a little more smoother so that I could see the lines in between. And I give 15 and clear. Yes. So when I when it was 10, you see the difference. When it was tense, there is a lot of noise over here. So you look at this area. This can be zoomed also like this. So let me concentrate on this area and finalize my smoothening. So it has got a lot of noise. So when I give 15 over this, it becomes. So to go back, I'll just click this. It gives no back. So it is a little better. So still I wanted to go, do a good smoothening. I think now it is better. So now I have got a good smooth and graph. I click OK. I think what is this? So I deleted that line. So now I double click on this. Remove the previous graph. You could see. So these are the two graphs. One is black and the other is red. So I am removing the black one. So this is red one and this is the black one. So the red is smooth and it is written here. And this is the original data. So we are deselecting the original data. And when you click apply, that disappears. So you have this. This is the smooth data. So now we have to we are going to use this data and then do a baseline correction. So if you go to the file, so this is the actual data for which we are going to do it. So when you get this one, you go here, double click, you will get to see all the data. So now for doing baseline correction, you go to analysis and then go peaks and baseline. Go to peak analyzer, open dialog box. So when you open the dialog box, this can be movable. I have moved it to such an area that for me, the whole spectra is visible. So first there are, what is the goal? Is to integrate peaks, create baseline, subtract baseline, find peaks, find peak pro. So with this tool, you can do all these things. So I'm going to create a baseline. So when you, when it was integrated baseline, there are just four things you have to do. For when I create a baseline, there is two things we have to do. We have to create a baseline mode and then create a baseline. 
I am going to give next and then uh, there are 8 points I can so I am going to just find it. This is the number of points in which it will find the baseline. So when you give find you see these are the number of points. So if I have to increase the number of points what I have to do I have to give just increased one 10. So it is that you should not give more number of points also so that it is very difficult for you to see the line. So we should give an approximate number so that it is easy to draw the line. So there are no points here. So I'm going to give little more points 20. Yes, there is one point generated here. Still, I'm not satisfied. I'm going to give 25. Yes. So still it is not taking up. I mean, I can try giving 35, but it will be too congested. You see, there are, there are these areas are getting too congested and some, spe some peaks may disappear. So I'm going to give 20. And I am going to finalize in the next step. Even 20 makes it to be crowded. I am going to give 15. Let's check what is there in the 15. Yes, 15 needs to be decent. In the next step, we can modify it. So the next step has, what does it show us? Add or modify data. First, what we will do? We will modify the, we will modify the data, which is, which those points, those points here, which are to be modified. So I am going to give modify. And... Uh, I want this peak to be fine. This is fine. This data is fine. Let me see like I want this to be a more down. So I'm going here. Click on this. I generate a cross mark. After you generate a cross mark, hold your left click and then pull it down or you can pull it up anywhere. So I'm going to just pull it down a little it's near to the graph. Yes. So I got all other lines seen so the existing lines are good the existing points are good so i'm going to create done next i have to add some points so i have to add these points i have to make a point here also I'm going to click double click on this so you see when i'm going to click here if i click one there is a cross and this is a temporary it is not done so only when i do a double click there generates a circle and a cross so this is where the points you see you have added two points so now i'm going to click here third point i'm going to click here fourth point fifth point sixth point i want it to come like this seven eight nine it also follows so i'm going to double click on wherever i want to generate a series of points to create a good baseline so that I do not miss a lot of data since all since we have a lot of small peaks so I have selected 17 extra points in previous one when we gave 30 in number there was a lot of points concentrated here now I have given in a such a way that the points are not concentrated still I get a good baseline so I have given so I am going to give done and this is the baseline created so now I have a clear baseline which follows the path of the peaks. I'm going to just give finish. So when I give finish, we could see that the baseline is generated like this. So now I'm satisfied with that. I go to the workbook. So this is the baseline and this is the subtracted one. So this is the smooth one. So now still you do not have it. Now what you have to do is we have to add a column and add a column value to this, which means I have to select this. This is the original data minus new data so the old minus new so i have to give this column go to column value and then i'm going to give column c which is this data so i'm going to column c minus column new data this is e column e i'm going to apply this so now so I have to change it to X. This this previously it was X and I'm changing into Y so that it is easy to plot because you're plotting with X. Previously this was X2. So when previously it was like this, it was X2 and Y2 and Y2. So now I do not want to plot Y2 with X1. I wanted to plot X versus Y. So you will understand why it is necessary when you are plotting a lot of, when you are selecting multiple columns. So I'm going to select X and then this one and plot it. You could see this is the baseline corrected one. 
still it has to be smooth so before that i'll let's go back to this and this is what old data minus new data why old old has to be separated by new and not new by old so i'll just show you why it is if you do if you minus new versus old that is if you subtract new data minus old data the graph will look different for example this is new minus old so the old data is subtracted from the new data i just click here put the column value get the column value so instead of column c minus column e i'm going to put column e minus column c so it generates a data so i'm going to plot this against x you see this is an inverted peak so this is the reason where you have to plot x the old data minus new data and the second reason why this should in this should be changed into x from y is because previously it was like this suppose if you are trying to plot both of this against this you would sometime this is the thing so the the new data which we generated minus from the old is and the above and which is wrong is below so this is the right one so i'm going to delete this to avoid confusion yes so similarly i'm going to delete all the non necessary graph so that it is easy for us to operate okay so this is the one which is baseline corrected now also you see what i am going to do i am going to put a line on zero so still there are some points which is below zero so exactly i am going to zoom on So you could see that there are still points which are below zero. So what I have to do to make this up? There is a way. So first, what you have to go, you have to let's delete this line, or you can also have it for your reference. Like I'm going to put a line on this for a reference. So I'm going to ch change the color of this line so that it is easy for us to. to change let's say orange yeah. this is going to be much more thicker so that it is easy for us to understand now you could see that there are points which below this so this has to be corrected because when i'm going to adjust the scale to zero it would look awkward that some points are buried inside let's say that if i click some points are buried inside it doesn't look good so what i have to do is i have to change the move the values up so what i'm going to do so this is how it was i have to go to analysis data manipulation and there are two things called as vertical translation and horizontal translation so vertical translation means going up so i am going to translate this graph above or below so this is how it was so this orange line now has to be deleted let's let's see I'm going to do manip data manipulation, vertical translation. There is a red line. So what you have to do, you have to hold the red line and then move little up. So you could see that now when I move, the data moves. So I have to move the red line so that all the points. So this is the previous one. When I carefully move above, so now the, all the points are above zero. So I have to move it until the all points are above zero. Yes. I have moved everything above zero. So now I am going to change the scale to zero. And see, now it looks. So now no data is buried inside. It is all about. So now we will just finish this. Rename this list. Let's name this as test one. And put a box. Let 
left side also I have to put a line if this good so here it is 2 theta so I'm going to delete and put 2 control M so I got this by pressing control M so press control M select theta where is theta Yes, here is theta. Yes. So two theta within brackets, it is degree and uh, x axis we graph a little. So I just selected the graph and I'm moving the graph a little. Here I have to give intensity. Intensity of the units is arbitrary unit. There are my previous videos in which I have uh, detailedly explained how to put an x-axis, how to put y-axis and uh, how to make this borders and everything which you can refer it before. So this data starts from 5 degree and it ends at 60. So I'm going to put on this, apply, it is good. So I've got a box, I've got a, I've got a data detail saying that what is this data about. I do not want the box. I'm going to properties. I'm going to put none so that the box disappears. I'm going to click on this, increase this into three, and then I want a different color. Let's say like uh, color I want red orange. Let's say violet. Click on this, and this is how our data is. So look good. I'm going to make this as bold. Select all and make is bold this also good get a little this is four this is so this is how the final data looks so now i'll do a comparison of how does the previous graph was so in the starting of the video i was telling you how to change that old data and see if yes so I'm going to remove all the graphs so if you remember we started with such a graph we started with such a graph and then now I have ended in such a graph so this is how you have to do a baseline correction using origin so this is very simple as compared to an expert high score so this expert I score is also one more software which is generally used for doing a baseline correction in XRD. It is up to you that you can use either that or this and this is the way you have to do it in origin. In origin it is quite simple as compared to that even though if you do not have an excel file which contains a baseline. So in some data what they would give you is that the data value and then the baseline value. So what you can do is you can just subtract them and then you can get a baseline. Even if you do not have it you just have a raw data in which you have a plot you can remove it and do it so this is how we have to do it so this is our final graph which looks neat and clean and now it has to be indexed and uh, in next video i will cover how to pick or how to pick pick and then do an indexing thank you for watching have a good day